Hello everyone. Welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we want to derive an equation for wavelength as well as the frequency of an emitted energy in the format of a photon when an electron jumps from higher orbit to lower orbit of an electron in a Bohr's atomic model. We have already derived an equation for the energy as in the previous video lesson we have proved this. Total energy of electron in a given orbit as energy equal to minus 13.6 z square by n square electron volt where z is the atomic number and n is the principal quantum number. Now, taking this equation into consideration, if you write a general equation, say for n equal to n1, the corresponding energy E1, and of course, we can take for granted like we are writing for a hydrogen atom, say for example. I can write Z equal to 1. If it is a hydrogen like item, like atom, we can write any value of the Z. But as of now, we are writing for a hydrogen atom first. So E1 will become minus 13.6 by 10 1 square. Similarly, for n equal to n2, we can write e2 as minus 13.6 by n2 square. All these are the energies in electron volts. Then e2 is being obviously higher energy. The difference in the energy is e2 minus e1 will become minus 13.6 by n2 square minus minus 13.6 by n1 square so this is 13.6 times of 1 by n1 square minus 1 by n2 square that's the difference in the energies right so you can write the difference in the energies as h nu because energy is emitted like a photon as 13.6 times of 1 by n1 square minus 1 by n2 square you can where h is a Planck's constant and nu is the frequency we have written h nu because energy emitted like a photon who is having a fixed amount of energy quanta quanta is having energy h nu nu can be further written like c by lambda as 13.6 1 by n1 square minus 1 by n2 square that implies 1 by lambda can be written like 13.6 by hc of 1 by n1 square minus 1 by n2 square this 1 by lambda is called something like wave number if you know the lambda using a formula v equal to n lambda we can also calculate a frequency Anyway, 1 by lambda, if you, anyway, if you can write, substitute the value of Planck's constant, 6.6 .6 into 10 power minus 34, C3 into 10 power 8 meter per second velocity of a light. All that will be automatically constant because 13.6 is also constant. All that constant together is called Redberg constant, the name of a scientist, Redberg, where the value of that Redberg constant is 1.097 into 10 power 7 meter inverse. This is how we can write an equation for the emitted wavelength. If you want to know the lambda equation, we can 1 by lambda equation, we can get either a lambda equation or a frequency equation. So basing on this equation, we will be able to identify the energy of the 
emitted photon as well as the wavelength of the emitted photon. Basing on the value of that lambda, basing on the value of that lambda, we can understand the kind of the energy that is emitted and that energy emitted appears like a spectral line. That's how we can get the spectrums. Like a spectral line. So depending on from which orbit to which orbit the electron is jumping, what are the values of N1 and N2, we are going to get different wavelengths. Basing on the value of the wavelengths, we can identify whether that spectral line falls in a visible region or infrared region or ultraviolet region. We will be discussing about this different kinds of spectral lines of hydrogen spectra in this uh, equation in the next video lesson. So if it is say not for z equal to 1 for any other value you can write the value as something like uh, uh, the value of Hedberg constant is as it is anyway, z square also will come. So if it is a hydrogen like atom, z will be different from that of 1 more than 1. We can substitute that values and we can get a respective wavelength in that case also. Thank you for watching. Keep coming back for more and more video lessons. Thank you.